guys, it's Yvette, and I have a couple boxes that I got today. Um, the first one that I'm going to open is the Quilters Candy Box, and um, I'm just, <laughs> it's my only, only my second time getting the Quilters Candy Box, and so when I got it like this, um, I was a little surprised because last month it came like in a box. <laughs> And this time it's just in a padded wrap. Now, maybe that's normal and, or like you just don't ever know how it's gonna come. I really don't know. Um, but anyways, Quilter's Candy bag. <laughs> and um, let's get it going. Um, I'm just gonna cut across. There's like a tab you could pull, but those don't always work for me. And then you have like, you know, you're trying to get things out, you're trying to move it over. Oh, this might be why. Oh my goodness. So, wow. There's like um, some sort of a decal or, I, I'm thinking, I mean, I don't know 100%, but I'm thinking maybe this is some sort of pattern for quilting. Um, like if you do free motion quilting, which I'll be honest, I haven't even tried on my machine. I just haven't, it hasn't been something that really interested me. Um, but anyways, let's see. Um, okay, March Quilters Candy Box. This is a unique box. It is curated by one of our Instagram followers. Woo! Um, we had a competition in December for followers to post their ideas for a future box, and the winner was able to curate a box and receive it for free. Uh, congratulations to Lil Maisie Daisy on winning. So, congrats, Lil Maisie Daisy. Um... All right, and then they list a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to not read that right now. I'll look if I need to, like if I don't know what something is. Okay, um, so then, I mean, I pulled that thing out. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but here's the rest of the box, <laughs> right? The rest of the stuff. Um, and this is from Lil Maisie Daisy, so let's see what her idea was, because I, did, I missed it. I didn't see it in December. Um, okay, so first thing that we have is a uh, Be Cute Ribbon, and that's by Lori Holt. I do already have some of this, but I mean, you know, if you're regularly using the, um, the ribbon, which I'm, I have an idea of something that I want to sell in my Etsy shop and in, um, and whenever I'm uh, doing craft shows, then plenty of this will come in handy. I mean, uh, it's really cute too. I mean, I don't think you have to be a sewer to think that that's just adorable. Um, so anyways, that's the first thing. Ooh. The next thing is a, I'm trying to read what it says. I can't read what it says. There's jelly bean. Okay. It's a cookie guys. It's a cookie. And let me see if I can um, find in here where it says something about the cookie. Uh, okay, it says Kiss K I S Cafe Birthday Cake Cookie. Warning: One bite may cause addiction. These cookies are filled with real birthday cake inside. And what could be better to go with confetti fabric than with a birthday cake cookie? Of course, if if I had opened them <laughs> in that order, I would know that. There must be some confetti fabric in here. I don't know. But that's so, oh my gosh, it looks so delish, you guys. It's like, look how thick it is. And there's like birthday cake in there. Oh, OMG. Okay, so, oh, oh my God, Lil Maisie Daisy. That's her name, right? Lil Maisie Daisy. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have been so wanting this for so long. Well, obviously not too long because it hasn't been out that long, but but I wanted some. I put, this is V and Company, right? Come on, I know I'm not crazy. Do 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 do. A bundle of the just released and very popular ombre confetti fabric by V and Company for Moda Fabrics. I I knew it. I love their ombre fabric, and I know I'm probably saying that wrong. That's okay. Um, but when I saw this one that came out with the little confetti, and it's got the, it sparkles, and a, I love it. 
Oh my gosh, thank you, little Maisie Daisy. This is such a great idea, it's beautiful. I love it, thank you. I'm not gonna unwrap it because you guys know this would be really hard to undo and really, they all are looking like this, it's just different colors. Um, oh my gosh, I, I, little Maisie Daisy, I love you, girl. I don't know who you are, but I love you. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, the next thing that we have in here, okay. Uh, quilt Pounce Blue Chalk. It's a quilt marking tool. You can make light or dark colored fat, mark light or dark colored fabrics with blue. And it washes out. Okay. I've, I've never actually used this. Uh, I thought it was a camera. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Uh, it says it can brush or wash off. Easy to use, super time saver, extremely accurate, used for machine or hand quilting, safe for fabrics. And then there's like an instruction on how to use it. Um, has anybody out there used this before? Because I, I mean, I've heard of chalk, obviously. I've never seen this in my life. I've, I just, I don't know this. I mean, it looks very odd to me. I have to be honest. Um, and it's like, you know, I'm sure this is the chalk. Um, and it's just feels like, you know, dangerous to have around a quilt. Because <laughs> it's like powdery chalk. Um, yeah, so if you guys have used it, you know, give me some testimonials down below. Because I'd love to know, um, you know, what you think. <laughs> and Lil Maisie Daisy, uh, I doubt highly that you're watching this. But if you actually you know, come upon it for whatever reason, why do you love it so much? Because you obviously do, otherwise you wouldn't have put it in the little box. Um, so I'm very curious about that, and um, so you guys can, you know, help a girl out. And the last thing that's inside is a pattern, of course. Um, it's a sun flare quilt called Then Came June. It's a quilt pattern by Megan Buchanan. And so there's the pattern. Um... Yeah, that's very interesting. I can see why they why she chose this. I mean, obviously, um, you know, the confetti uh, fabric with basically solid colors and just having the little bit of bling in there um, would probably look really great doing that. Yeah. Um, so that's our box for this month. Um, and let me see what they're saying about this. Uh, An orange peel stencil to use with your pounce pad. Oh, and this is called a pounce pad, guys. Apparently, this is called a pounce pad. Okay. Um, all right, so let me read a little bit more. Well, hold up. An orange peel stencil to use with your pounce pad. You can use this beautiful yet simple stencil to see how easy the pounce pad works. We can't wait to see your quilt tops using this method. Okay, and then what they say about the pounce pad, uh, it says it's a pounce pad with blue chalk. This is an exciting new quilting item. Oh, okay, so maybe nobody's heard of this. Maybe that's why I haven't heard of it. Um, these pads are used to help transfer any size stencil to your fabric for machine quilting or embroidery. Simply lay your stencil down, run the filled pounce pad over the stencil, and the design is transferred. When you are done following the chalked stencil mark, the chalk easily wipes away. It still makes me nervous, guys. I don't know. I know it's new, but seriously, has anybody used it? <laughs> like, I, I mean, you know, like a, a Chaco pencil, chalk pencil, that's one thing. It's not, I don't know. This is like, it. this is some totally, like, loose chalk powder first i'm worried about the quilt but more importantly also like getting all over my house and it's like blue chalk you guys just let me know i'm, I'm really no judgment here because i haven't i've never seen it i don't know how it works i don't know if it, nothing gets anywhere and how i don't know if you guys know let me know <laughs> um so anyways this was really cool i'm so excited about this box Oh my gosh, um, honestly the only thing that's freaking me out a little bit is the blue 
chalk, but I mean, you know, nobody's saying I have to use it. Um, I'm just curious. I'm really curious. And you know, Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean, you okay, baby? Did you just wake up? I think he just woke up. And like I got home and he looked real sleepy, <laughs> but he kept jumping on me to get food. <laughs> and so now that they've eaten, he still looks a little sleepy. So anywho, um, do you want to say hi to everybody, Jelly Bean? Not large, I'll, I'll let you see him. Let me see if I can scooch it over there without. Oh, you can't see him. I'm tilted up. There he is. You want to say hi, Jelly Bean? Everybody misses you, buddy. See, he sits up there while I'm sewing. He either sits or he sleeps up there. Really not making this up. Uh, anywho, that's it for the Quilters candy box, and I'll be right back with one more box, so stay tuned. Bye!